I know many of you live in the corporate world and you live day in and day out with your office job and in between calling those annoying clients and in between sending those long emails that no one enjoys doing, you sense the urge to move around. How many of you have ever been in front of your computer, in the office, in the room, doesn't matter where you're at, and in the middle of being worked, you're like, you know, you, you start moving around, you feel the need to step back from the computer, you stand up, you feel like you need to readjust yourself in your seat, you know, you feel that general sense of discomfort. What is that telling you? It's telling you that you've been sitting down for too damn long and you need to get up and move. But what happens when we don't move around? Well then buddy, I got a video for you, so be sure to stay tuned till the end. What's up everyone, David here, got a new video for y'all today. But before we get into it, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification so you don't miss out on any new videos. Because remember, new videos on this channel every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. So don't miss out. So as previously mentioned, a lot of you have office jobs and it doesn't necessarily even have to be an office job. You're just in some type of occupation that requires you to be seated for long periods of time. So whether you're in an office, you're a truck driver, bus driver, or you're a content creator and you're in front of a laptop constantly sitting down, most likely your posture is gonna be horrible. Most likely you're gonna have tight muscle groups. You're gonna need the sense to stand up and move around. Cause let's be honest, we've all felt this at one point or another. We're in the middle of doing our work and then we feel the, you know, that moving around, we feel like we have to readjust ourselves. We have to stand up and move around, shake out our legs, maybe even go for a walk. All of that are signs that your body is telling you that you need to get up and you need to move around, okay? But what happens when we don't? Oftentimes when we sit down, we do it in poor posture. I mean, let's be honest, a lot of you right now watching this video, your posture is probably piss poor pathetic. You're probably hunched over, your head is excessively forward, you're sitting down in a chair, you know, and then you wonder why you got back problems. Most of the issues that you have from working these jobs that require you to be seated for a long time can be easily fixed or avoided if you do something about it in the first place. Something as simple as stretching can prevent a lot of these issues from happening. But what exactly are the type of stretches that we should be doing if you're gonna be seated for long periods of time? I got a couple good ones that are gonna be real beneficial for all of you. But first, we gotta break down what exactly is it that we're doing wrong in the first place. When you're seated in a chair, what are the joints that are being bent? We got our knees bent, we got our hips bent, we got our entire spine that's rounded, and we got our head that's being moved forward. We gotta address all of those. Most likely, your hamstrings are gonna be tight. Why? Because your knee is bent. So occasionally, we gotta you know, stretch out our leg to lengthen up the hamstring. Our hips are gonna be tight, why? Because our knees are being jammed up so high or we're coming down so low. You know, occasionally we gotta stand up and you know, lock out our hips, get some movements to stretch out those hip flexors. How many of you have sciatica? What is a common cause of sciatica? Prolonged sitting. So if you ever got that pain on one side of your lower back, and shoots down your legs, there's simple stretches you can do to help prevent that. That may not always be the case of what's causing your sciatica, but in some people, seated, being seated is the reason why. Also, you have the rounded shoulders. You got that poor posture in your upper back. Sometimes, you know, you gotta stretch it out. How do we get the shoulder blades back? Also, a lot of you, maybe you never notice, but if you look at yourself from a side profile, it looks like you have a big old lump on the back of your head. Why? Because your upper back is rounded and your head is being pushed forward because you're so used to being in front of a screen. So what can we do to bring that head back and bring those shoulders back along with it? We're gonna start from the floor and we're gonna make our way up. The first joint that we talked about was our knees. Our knees are constantly being bent. So what does that mean? That means we're shortening the hamstring. Remember, our hamstring is what allows our knee to bend. And when we lock out our knee, our hamstring's being stretched out. So that's what we need. We need to stretch out the hamstring because oftentimes if you're gonna be seated for a long period of time in the bent knee position, then hamstrings are gonna be tight and no one wants tight hamstrings. So first stretch you can do is just stand up real quick in between emails, in between phone calls, you know, in between meetings, just grab your chair, put your leg up on there, lock out that knee, toes pointed up and lean forward and right away, you'll feel that stretch in the back of your hamstring. 
But with this, it's really important that you make sure that you do not bend that knee. Keep the knee straight and boom, lean forward. And actually try to feel the stretch in your hands. Don't just hunch your back forward to try to bring your hands more forward. You see this right here, I'm not even stretching my hamstring, but I've actually tried to bring my whole torso lean forward, boom, I feel the stretch a lot more. So we're gonna go ahead and do 30 seconds on one side, switch, 30 seconds on the other side. And when I say 30 seconds, I need actual 30 seconds okay make sure that you're not doing any of these type of bounces no no go down into it and don't start counting 30 seconds as you're still going into the stretch go into it first let yourself rest into it sink into it and actually feel the good stretch and once you feel that good point where you're fully good stretched boom then start the 30 second count again if you hold the stretch less than 30 seconds realistically you're not going to see any progress you're not going to see any improvements in your flexibility or mobility now moving on next joint up we got the hips now this one's gonna be a little bit more awkward but i mean if you have your own office or your own cubicle shut the door make sure no one looks at you when you're walking in because the last thing you want to do is be spotted with you on your knee people are gonna be asking what are you doing well if you want to know if you're really that nosy i'm stretching on my hip flexor that's what i'm doing so the hip flexor right here in front of our hip that's what allows us to bring our knee up but the fact that we're always seated that means that muscle most likely is gonna end up getting a little tight. So, good way to stretch it out, one knee on the ground, one knee up, and from right here, we're gonna push our hips forward. So if you were to look at me from the side right here, I'm not leaning my torso forward like this and then going forward. No, I'm pushing my hips forward. Pretty much think of it like you're thrusting those hips forward. Whatever leg is down, that's the side of the hip that you should be feeling. So I got my right leg down, I'm feeling it in my right hip flexor. Once you do 30 seconds one side, switch, go ahead and do the 30 seconds with the other side. So that's already two stretches down, 30 seconds each side, we're at two minutes. Now, continuing to move on, now we got the chest. Most of the time, if you're sitting down and you're writing or you're typing up something on the computer, doesn't matter whether it be at work or you're a student doing their homework, what's happening with your shoulders? we see a lot of this. Now, when we move forward like this and we're hunched, what's the muscle group that most likely might end up getting a little tight? It's gonna be the chest. Cause think about when we bench press or press forward, boom, we're doing that motion. What we need to do is we gotta open it up a little bit more. So let's try to stretch out this region. And a good way to do so is gonna be using a door. So try to find yourself an open door frame, arm bent at 90 degrees. And then from right here, you're gonna go ahead Put your arm on the edge of the door frame and again try to make sure that the upper arm is parallel with the ground you don't want to go too high up you don't want to go too far low now try to line up your elbow to where your shoulder is again upper arm parallel with the ground and from right here turn away from it and then right away you're going to feel that stretch right here in your chest 30 seconds one side 30 seconds on the other side and quite honestly for this type of stretch you don't even need a door frame if you don't have one. All you need is something that protrudes away from the wall to lock your arm into place. Like you see right here, I can't move forward. These are the blinds of this window. That works perfectly fine. As long as my arm is being held in place and I could hold the stretch for 30 seconds, we're good. But again, don't start counting as you're getting into it. So don't go one, two, three, four, all the way to 30. No, get yourself into that good stretch position. Once you find that sweet spot, hold it, then start counting 30 seconds go ahead and get one side then get the other now we got another stretch continuing on with the upper body it's specifically going to be for the traps because i mean think about what is the one muscle group that always gets tense whether it be because of poor posture or just overall stress it's going to be our traps the big muscles on the side of your neck that's what we want to try to loosen up along with hunching our shoulders forward. If we're on a desk writing or typing, what else do we do? We tend to shrug the shoulders right here and that creates a lot of tension right here. So along with doing a stretch, we also wanna just decompress them. Like, man, relax, you don't need to be so stressed. You don't need to be so tense. So practice shrugging your shoulders all the way up and then practice bringing them all the way down and that downwards motion that's what we want to relieve some of the tension in our chest we're always like this we're always so tense no 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 if you're looking from the back we don't want none of this go ahead and relax and force them as low as you can just relax those shoulders but on top of that we got to do the stretch to get rid of more of that tension that we don't need so for that tilt the head down one way reach across and gently pull 
This one's gonna go ahead and stretch out a little bit of the trap along with the side of your neck. And once you get 30 seconds on one side, go ahead, 30 seconds on the other side. So there you have it. We have a stretch for the hamstrings, a stretch for the hip flexors, stretch for the chest, and we have a stretch for the traps. 30 seconds each side, that puts us at four minutes. What are we going to do for the last minute? It's not necessarily a stretch, but I feel it applies very well to these issues that we're having when it comes to working a corporate job or just being seated for a long period of time. We're gonna do head retractions. So again, you're like this. You're also like this. This right here is what you call forward head. It is exactly what it sounds like. Your head is literally forward and that's what we don't want. We wanna bring this head back. I mean, you may not be noticing this, but have someone take a picture of you from your side profile. And if you notice a big old lump on the back of your neck, that's a pretty good indication you got forehead. Cause I mean, that's literally your spine just so used to being curved like this. Now, we don't want that. Bring it back. And a good way is to strengthen up those muscles that help bring your head back. So for this one, what you're gonna need is a wall. Again, if you're in the workplace, you all have access to wall. It doesn't even matter if you're in the workplace. Everywhere you're at, you're gonna have access to something upright. Use a door, use a wall, use something. You're gonna go right here up against the wall. Again, good posture, shoulder blades back. You're gonna actually put the back of your head up against the wall and you're gonna actually try to force your head back, push your head against the wall and you're gonna feel that it's strengthening up those muscles that keep you from going from like this. It's those muscles that allow you to go boom, like that. A better way to think about this is think of it like you're doing the fat face. You know, when you push your head back, like that and you expose your double chin like that do that against the wall go push 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 a couple seconds boom relax let's go again push 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 and then relax do that like 10 times that will take you right around a minute boom it'll help fix that forehead help bring it back boom you're realigning your posture again it was just real simple hamstrings hip flexors chest traps 30 seconds each side, that's four minutes, plus a fifth minute of head retractions. Boom, that's all it takes, five minutes of stretching. And that could really help you out with a lot of the issues that are being caused by your poor posture. Helps improve your flexibility, helps improve your mobility, and overall quality of life. Now you don't have that sciatic pain, now you don't have that pain on the back of your neck, now you don't feel so much tension right here on the traps. It's the little things like this, that if you do a couple times throughout the day, Boom, it will save so much time. And I don't wanna hear that any of you say, no, I don't have time to do all that. Bro, it's only five minutes that we're asking for here. Do it in between phone calls, do it in between emails, do it in between meetings. And along with that, just as a bonus tip, again, these are just tips. You don't have to do it, but I'm just saying it. They could possibly help you. At least they have helped me in my experience. It's go for walks. You gotta ask yourself, what is the reason why you're so tense in the first place? Is it because you're seated for so long? Yes, okay, well then stand up and move around a bit. Go on walks throughout the office, go down the hallways, back, go up and down the stairs, do something, get more movement throughout the day. A lot of the issues that we have can be solved if we were to just work out more, get a little bit more physical activity, even something as simple as walking can make the biggest difference in our lives. So actually take advantage of it. If you're outside, parking your car to go to work, to go to school, to go to the supermarket. Purposely park your car a little further so that way you can take a couple extra steps to get in the entrance of the facility, wherever it is that you're going with. A lot of extra steps. They add up, get a little bit more movement. You know what they say, motion is lotion. Exercise is medicine. Take advantage. There you have it, everyone. Hopefully this video was helpful. Again, it's aimed for those who work office jobs, students, those who are being seated for long periods of time. That's who we're looking out for. There's certain muscle groups that you're gonna have that are gonna be real tense. That's what we're trying to avoid. We gotta stretch them out. It's gonna improve the quality of your life. Comment down below if this video was helpful. Comment down below also any other stretches that you do in the workplace, in school, wherever, that have really helped you out to improve your posture and avoid that whole feeling of you know discomfort when you gotta move around in your desk, you know, you gotta do some of these, get some blood flow, get some movement. Comment down below what works for you. Also, comment down below any other video suggestions you'd like to see me do, whether it be about mindset, motivation, nutrition, diet, workouts, programs, whatever it is, I'd be more than happy to help you all out. Also, be sure to subscribe not just to this channel, 
but my girlfriend's channel and our couple's channel so you don't miss out on any new videos. Because remember, we got new videos every week across the board for all three channels. For this channel specifically, new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday, so don't miss out. And then for Instagram and TikTok, same thing. Be sure to follow me on my accounts, girlfriend's accounts, couple's accounts. I put all the links down in the description below. With that being said, I'll catch y'all next time.